everybody. Welcome to Telly Talks, where we talk about life, growth, relationships, and everything in between. I have my co-host, OGZ Too Funny, in the building. Yes, love. And today, we have a very special guest, which is a show that I watch, and I'm a super fan of, The Ultimatum, Zay Wilson. What's up, Zay Zay? Thanks for coming on. Yeah, for sure. So we were talking before we started filming, and um, tell everybody how you got to where you are today. Ooh, um, I grew up in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, sort of just really moving around a whole bunch. Both of my parents, they were, you know, kind of on drugs a lot of the time. So it was always, you know, house to house, house to house and stuff like that. End up moving like to San Antonio and to Austin. And um, it was in Austin for a while. And pretty much the whole time I was just like house to house, couch to house, didn't know what I wanted to do and was just trying to figure it out. And I'm like 13 at the time. So, um, yeah, I've, I've been <laughs> I've been like house to house and couch to couch since I was like 13. So like stay with friends and stuff like that. And then um, anyways, I was playing basketball and football and stuff. And, you know, I was good at it. So um, my senior year. Uh, and how tall are you? I'm 6'6". Six, six. Yeah, because okay. you tall. Yeah. tall. tall let, me, tall. let me clear that because a lot of people ask, like, think I'm like 6'2 or something like nah, that. He like, tall. No, he's tall. I'm 6'6". Six, six. But yeah, like my junior senior year, I was like freaking <laughs> sleeping in cars, all types of stuff. And then um, I just happened to get a full ride scholarship to go play basketball and uh, yep. went to JUCO route, you know, been to a couple of different colleges and um, got the call to go on the show. And I kind of talked to uh, my ex, <laughs> my ex about it. And she was, you know, she really wanted to go. So we went on the show. And So yeah. was, okay, now my question is, <clears throat> she was the one, because I, I watched the show, she was the one that, was giving you the ultimatum yeah. on the whole marriage situation. <laughs> right. But before you guys got on the show, were you even discussing marriage? Like, was that something that you yeah, guys spoke that about? Was um, planning? It was. It was kind of something that was that was there, up, you know, up, up in the air because um, it wasn't that for her. It wasn't that she really wanted to, but she has a timeline for her her life. And she's like, okay, I'm getting around the age where I feel. She's older than you. No, no, she's younger than me. She, yeah, she's a year younger than me. I'm 26. Okay. okay. But in her timeline, this is how things was planned out. And my mind doesn't re- really work like that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, my, my mind doesn't work like, hey, at this age, I need to be doing this. I need to be right. doing that. Because I, I feel like everything falls in place within life. And, and God, would, yeah. God would definitely let you know when you're ready. for No a timeline on anything Absolutely. like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And okay, so she had a timeline. You didn't. How was your relationship like prior to the show? Like, you know, were you guys in a good space? Were you in a space of like, all right, we're either gonna go up in our relationship or go down in your your relationship? So it was it was kind of different because I was I was still in school and she was she was already done with school. Um, so she was in Austin and I was in Kansas. Mm-hmm. And so we it was just, long, long distance, distance exactly. relationship. for how long? Um, was it was only long distance for like a year and a year and a half, but I was just flying back and forth and stuff like oh, that. A healthy long distance relationship. Too. Uh, he was going back and forth. I mean, let me tell you guys about long distance that's relationships. Hard to do. <laughs> yeah. Long distance relationships work if you want it to yeah. work. Because I started off in a long distance relationship and here we are that's seven true, years good. later, you know, family later. So I just feel like if you want it to work, whatever it is, whether you guys live together, whether you guys don't live together, whether you're visiting each other. It works if you want it to work, yeah, and true. you miss each other. So, like, sure, why not? Yeah. But I think it's something that that obviously was shown on the show that you know that long distance it, it can be cool and stuff like that, but it, it hides a lot of problems that oh. you need to be in person to fix. Yeah. So like Agreed. long distance, me being in college and you know states away, we don't handle. Some of the problems that we need to handle, we don't talk. Uh, we don't have the, the the real conversations that we need to to have. It just gets so pushed it kinda under gets, the rug. It kind of mm-hmm. gets hidden. Yeah. yeah, and communication in relationships is so essential yeah. because if you're not talking about it, how is it going to get fixed? Right. You know, exactly. and, and and with long distance, all you have is communication because mm-hmm. that's all you can do is no talk physical. if you're not. Yeah, in, in each other's faces, and the fact that you can't like. 
what they're doing every day or or vice versa you know that kind of makes it hard as well too yeah so you guys get on the show and when you get on the show what <laughs> did i guess my question is because i did reality tv too so with uh, with us it was a whole bunch of couples coming on trying to grow in their relationship right, right. so the whole purpose of our show was who's going to get the ring who's going to get married who's going to take their relationship take one step level, further yeah, on you know and i feel like that's pretty much what you guys had a show similar to mm -hmm. but it was a whole different like spin on taking your relationship another yeah. step further so how is like when you guys got on what did they pitch to you that the show was going to be um uh, yeah this so the show was um every obviously everybody that's in a relationship have some type of relationship problem right so uh, the pitch was just to help us through that so we, we would do workshops we would do like you know uh like couples therapy and stuff like that we would do all these things and at the end of the show you will be you know a you'll better be couple. a better you couple make, yeah, yeah you make so, a decision yes. But you didn't, you had no idea that there were other couples involved or like it was gonna be a workshop with other people. Yeah, so I, we didn't know that we were supposed to be like switching with people. Right. Yeah, I don't, I don't, yeah, we didn't, we didn't. It was know like that. you guys were coming together as a couple to fix your relationship exactly. and solely that. Exactly. So, like, even if we were like being with other couples, we we're like, oh, okay, it's they're fixing their yeah, relationship. Yeah, we're, we're helping each other, we're going through this thing together. Which it, it was, but it was just a little twist to it. But yeah. I, I think that's what made the show good. Yeah, no, it definitely. It was a did. great, great, great show. And so, okay, I know you guys came in the show, and it was like you're like you said around other couples. And how like what was your reaction or you guys' reaction as a couple when they told you guys? Hey, we're gonna be like you have doing the most. Yeah, time with whoever you choose to other couple make time <laughs> with or whatever the case. Like, what was your reaction initially? And did they like tell you that like that day that you had to make that decision or how how was that? Um, so so how that worked was we kind of dated throughout the whole first week. So once we knew that we were switching and stuff like that, we dated everyone. On the, we dated everyone on the show, and then every day that number got smaller. You know, oh, so you date five okay. people, and then four, and then three, and then two. Mm -hmm. Then that's when you, you guys seen the choice. Okay. So that's that's kind of how how it how it works. It just looks so fast. Yeah, yeah. on TV, fast. like it yeah, was just it like oh, they they're at the pool, and then the next day they're you know in a <laughs> in a hotel room. Yeah, you know, exactly. And and you picked Shanique. I did pick Shanique. And I thought you guys, you know, looked cute together. How, how did that, how, why did you choose her? And how was that relationship if um, there was? Yeah, coming from a relationship where somebody is like really closed off and uh, don't express themselves a lot, I don't think that helped me grow because I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You mm -hmm. know, I don't, I don't know, you know, how to fix that. I, I don't, I don't, if I don't know what's going on in your head, then I can't change, you know, and me, I take I take pride in really every day becoming a better me. And I can't oh, become nice. a better me if I'm not, you know, I can't become a better me if I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like, I don't I don't know what's on your mind, I can't fix it. So I picked Shanique because Shanique is very expressive like I am, you know? Right. And I don't like that, but at the end of the day, I know that was what, that's what, what was best for me. So your uh, choice was based off of like the complete opposite of what your girl was. Exactly. Yeah. And you, cause I felt like Shanique was definitely like more of a dominant person. That's my best friend right there. <laughs> <laughs> but um, more of a dominant person than I felt Ray was. Cause Ray. I felt like Ray was like what it seemed to be because like reality TV can twist things all the time. Yeah, so I sure. don't know her. So I'm not going to be here like judging someone that <laughs> I don't know. But I feel like Ray seemed timid as opposed to Shanique, who was like expressive and knew exactly what she wanted, how she wanted it, where she wanted it, who she wanted it with, you know? And I felt like I was like, oh my gosh, if he's with Shanique, she is about to run him. Like, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Because she was mm -hmm. just very like, 
you know? And, and the guy she was with before, it was like he was more so, like, scared of him. But I was like, this could either go one or two ways. It's either he's going to get annoyed with her or she's going to change him to what she wants him to be yeah. and they're going to work gonna really work. good. Yeah. You know, so it was how did you feel that that friendship relationship ended up being for you? Um, I So going into it, I'm still stuck on like I'm in a relationship. Right. We're, we're mentally, you're we're like, mentally, I'm here with my woman. I'm here with my woman, you know, but uh, honestly, we we were like best friends for real for the like for most of the time. We were like literally best friends. And um, like, yeah, we argue, we laugh like we cried together, like all of it. Like, and to this day, like I, I really do like Shanique. Like she's a she's a great person. But we start seeing everybody else like going going at it. We're like, okay, yeah, they're kissing on the first date over there, and these people over here cuddling. It's these, like we might as well too. Yeah. So we're like like we're growing as people, but we haven't even took a, a step into you know seeing what this would look like in an actual trial marriage. And right. Then, um, yeah, so we, for the rest of the time, we, we kind of, you know, leaned into that and see, seeing if that was something that uh, could be possible in the future. Yeah, so you don't know if there's a possibility there. It's, it's still open. She's, <laughs> I mean, she's with, she's with Randall. And, oh, know, she's still with yeah, Randall. She's, oh, she's, with, she's okay. with Randall, and, and they're happy. I, I love them together, so... Uh, yeah, so I mean that's why I, I left the show. How, how I left the show. Yeah, and, and speaking of that's how crazy. you left the show, the finale was like. Talk I, about I, the finale. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that because I felt like, out of all the people that was on the show, mm -hmm. I felt the most that grew was you, yeah. and I, I felt like you know you came in there kind of like, um, in my perspective, because like I said, I'm from the inside come outside coming in. It was like, okay, um, you know, I felt that maybe your relationship with Ray um, had its hiccups outside of the show, but you were willing to make that change to be whatever she wanted you to be. Like, mm -hmm. you know, you're like, what do you need me to do? Because I'm ready to do it. Because right. I want to be here mm -hmm. with you. Exactly. And I felt like out of everyone that was on the show, I felt like your growth showed the most. And... Then when she was already, you know, kind of her mind was already on Jake, where mm -hmm. it's like, you know, the grass is greener where you water it, not just because it's on the other side, yeah. you know? And I just feel like she chose to water grass somewhere else, and yeah. you were already trying to make your grass grow with her. And I felt like when the reunion happened and everything was all said and done, it was like, I don't know what happened after you know they made their decisions because it looked like you guys are still had your own thing going yeah, on for sure. <laughs> you know while the reunion was going on so it was like you were like all right i'm gonna make it be known because this is what it is and this is what you're doing mm -hmm. and she kind of was just like okay like <laughs> you know what, what what are you trying to say because you know i just felt like she was with jake but still wanted you too you know, like, it's yeah. like you want your cake and you want to eat it, too. And it's kind of like, girl, you made your choice. Exactly. I, and like you said about, you know, the grass being greener. Um, yeah, your grass won't be green if you won't water it. If you, don't, if you don't put that work in and if you don't sacrifice your, your you know, your, your sweat and tears and, and your time, then your grass won't be green. Like, you yeah. won't see you won't see change in, in the relationship if you're not doing your part, if you're not putting in the same... As your partner. And it has to be two people willing because exactly. it can't just be you willing and she's not willing because, you know, at the end of the day, whether she gave you the ultimatum or not, I felt like you made your choice and you proved that you were willing to change. Mm -hmm. You know, whether you had a situation with Shanique or whether you guys are getting back at each other or, you know, tit for tat type of situation, your heart was still with Ray. And I just felt like she shifted so fast. That mm -hmm. it was like, okay, let me see where this could go. But then when she saw where this was going, it's like, okay, well, hey, Zay, what's going on over <laughs> here, you know? Yeah. And then I felt like when you kind of, like, you know, told her about herself, it was like, okay, well, you said, like, why didn't you go to Paris? Mm -hmm. And she kind of was like, 
Zay got receipts, baby. <laughs> Zay got receipts. He got the car facts. So don't play with him. <laughs> he got the car facts. That's all facts. I'm saying. No, I just feel like, uh, yeah, that, that whole situation was crazy. And um, I don't agree why she, why she, like, switched so fast. But I understand. Like, she's she's more, you know, kind of, she don't want, she doesn't want, she's not used to people, like, challenging her and, mm. like, n- the way I do. I guess. She's used to getting what she wants. Yeah. She and she's she's she wants something. She wanted to be smooth, like she like and with Jake, her and Jake, like they don't they they're they're just just I don't know. They come from the same background, like only kid, you know. It's they know how to deal with each other. So honestly, I come from the struggle, like I I I, I do, and I you know if if you don't understand if you don't understand who I am. Like if you've never been through what I've been through, like you won't understand that. You know, it's right. a lot of people that haven't gone without water and electric and freaking popping, going, waking up Saturday morning and going to a, a food pantry to get food. Like people don't understand that that mindset mm-hmm. of of where I'm coming from. Then you won't understand me. But if you come from like Jake and Ray, they're 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 a lot similar. They they both come from military background families, and you know, they're the only kid. Like I don't I don't know that. You know, right. I, I don't know that. Don't know but that I feel way. like I feel like you're in a place of your life where you're willing to learn and adapt yeah, to true. whatever it is that you need to adapt to, which is so much, I feel, easier to deal with than someone that's exactly like you because mm-hmm. when you have someone that's like you, there's no growth. Yeah. There's no, like... No challenge. No challenge. There's no, there's no moments in your relationship that you guys can face like adversity together, mm-hmm. you know? And I just feel like, I mean, for some people it works cause they're so much alike, but mm-hmm. I feel like opposites attract for a reason, yeah. you know? Like you attract your opposite True. for a reason. And I just feel like that's to help with growth, you know? And I just felt that your growth was, I was like, oh my gosh. You know, if my man could have watched the show, I'd be like, babe, look at him grow. You know, yeah, like you it was an example, man. You no, you led. You, you definitely that. led. That you definitely led. And, you know, I'm proud of your growth. I, I'm happy for you. And I hope the best in whoever you choose to be with, whether that's Shanique or anyone else in your future, you know, or even if you. So, wait, are you looking for a relationship right now? Or are you just chilling? Um, I'm not looking. Um, I think that, yeah, I don't, I wouldn't, I would never look for a relationship, but if one, if, if I meet somebody that, you know, I, I think that I could take that next step with, then yeah, for sure. That's dope. I'm open. definitely single though. Uh, single, open. Single and chilling is what yeah. he's Single doing. and chilling. I'm single it's summertime. Chilling. Yeah. It's a good time to chill <laughs> and be single. For real. So, okay. We talked about relationships, basketball. You said you did, um, College, you got a scholarship and yeah. what position was you by the way? I played like the three through five. Three through five. You was yeah. a shooter, dunker? Yeah, both. Okay. So yeah, I, I kinda was just a like a three and D guy. Like okay. I guard I guard one through five. I catch some lobs, catch some, some lobs. Shots, you know. I can see that in you. All right. Yeah. Just trying to get a fifth filled background on what he looked like yeah. as a hooper now. <laughs> So do you plan on finishing school? Because I know you left school to, to, to film. Yeah, I did. Um, yeah, eventually. I only have a semester left. so Yeah, baby, get I, that over with. You got I, it. Honestly, and that is just something that I want to do for, you know, for my future kids. Absolutely. Just, just not quitting and just finishing finishing what I start. Because um, I, I I'm the baby of seven. I will be the first person with, with a college degree. So That's what's up. That an example. What were you going yeah. to school for? Um, I was going to school for communications and um, kinesiology. Sports Kines, sports man. Ah, I like that. Yeah, we just um, actually met a guy that um, went to school for kinesiology as one of his minors, I want to say. But um, he's doing his thing. He has, like, his own facility where he does. Yeah, he sure does. Yeah, and it's. Muscle it's, recovery. Yeah, it's called Muscle Lab, and it's, it's super dope, so. You know, do whatever it is that makes you happy at the end of the yeah. day. I feel like now that the show is done and over with, where are you at and what are you doing? Uh, so I'm everywhere. I've been I've been doing a whole bunch. Um, I have some brands. I'm I'm trying. Uh, I'm getting put out 
And then also oh, your own brands or that yeah, you're collaborating? My, my own brand, both oh. actually. Yeah. Oh, dope! What I'm are you doing? With, I'm working with a couple brands right now. Um, haven't really signed. Well, I, I've signed one, like a brand deal with somebody, but I definitely I have a brand that I used to do in, in college, and I was literally just yeah. I, on the show, I said I sew. Uh-huh. So I was just and you actually it. sew like by hand. No, I didn't say all that. <laughs> I know how to sew on the machine though. Like I know okay. the sewing machine. Okay, yeah. yeah. Sew machine. That's still hard now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't it sew. Is. YouTube though. YouTube is very easy if you can. I'm a I'm a seeing type of guy. I can't Visual learning. Yeah, I can't I can't read a paper and just like this is how you do it. But likewise. Yeah. I have a brand, um, it's called Zay Cinco. Uh so Zay obviously my name and then Cinco is five and that represents humanity and my mission statement in life is to help people. That's so, dope. That's dope. Um, yeah, so that brand is, is coming. Yeah, Zay Cinco, is that clothes, hats? Gonna, what is it's it? It's gonna be. It's gonna be clothes. It's gonna be clothes. Um, That's dope. I'm excited for Zay that. Cinco. When are you launching? Soon. Soon. Okay. Soon, hopefully. I'm. I'm working. I'm going between some brands right now to to launch my my uh, clothing and stuff through them. So yeah, very soon. That's dope. I'm excited for that. So make sure y'all tune in for Zay Cinco. Zay Cinco coming out <laughs> soon. It's hard. And for everyone that comes on the show, mm-hmm. we play a game mm-hmm. uh, so people could get to know you outside of who they know you as. Yeah. So there's rules to the game. Okay, it's, it's nice. It, <laughs> it is. It is. There's only three rules yeah, of the game. You can't remix. Uh huh. Okay. You can't you make to, your own answer. Yeah, you can't make your own answer. You have to pick either this or that. Okay. And but you could explain yeah, your answer. Yeah, you can explain That's the only your thing answer. You can do so those are the okay. why you chose that. Yeah, so those are the rules. <laughs> okay. So we got two options. We got bad choices mm-hmm. and pick your poison. And pick your poison. Damn, I, I feel like I, I've done both of these on the show already. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. Let me let me see. Um, I go pick your poison. It's my favorite one, baby. I go Best pick game. your poison. I'm happy you picked that one. Have you picked he, this That's one? why he put it on the table and didn't put the other one. I was like, let yeah. me give him an option. Yeah, man. So we're very fair. So we ask you questions, and then you get to ask us questions, okay, too. Good. So yeah. it's that. not just you playing. We're playing with you, too. So you're going to pick, um, how many cards is it? Six cards? Uh, Yeah, six, so six for you, six for me, you. and um, is it two, four, six. Eight for him? Three. So, yeah, eight for him. You can shuffle, any, you can pick, yeah, you can pick, pick the whichever. middle. Just yeah. don't look at them. So I'm picking all of them right now? You're picking Yeah, like you could give him some, you some. Her. And then eight for you. Yeah. Eight? Okay, bet. Whichever six. six. It don't got to be from where. So three here. All right. Three and you here. pick these questions now, so <laughs> if we ask these questions, don't be like, ah, right, you, you set me up. Boy, you set yourself up because you That's know. crazy. Yeah. And, and <laughs> once you look at them, you can pair them because there pair are two cards each that you have to ask. Okay. So you could pair them with whatever other card you want to pair it with. You get what? So like if you gave me, okay, you gave me six, so I could put these two these with those two, two with these two, or and mix and match that. Yeah, mix and match whatever Was six, that, whatever you whatever you want to put together. So I can that. look at oh, so we you can look, look at, at it after. your cards. Okay, but let me see. And yeah. then yeah, and you can figure out which questions so you, you want to ask. So you can kind of get the game because there's two. You, you got to pick two cards to ask because it's either this or that card. Oh, so I asked so I asked two cards. Yeah. Right. And we would have to and pick And we have to pick out of those two that, cards. Yeah. We okay. pick so we're picking our poison. Okay, pretty that much. makes sense. That makes sense. Talk right. to me nice. Let's All right. All right. So, so who's so first? You go first? All right. Let me see what I'm working with over here. Um... All right. All right. You got him. We're going to start off kind of easy. <laughs> Likewise. This is, is kind of easy. Kind of easy. All right. Perform surgery on a loved one without professional assistance or bring a prostitute home for the holidays. Damn. <laughs> that was the easy one. That is... That is the easier no, one. That's the easier one for sure. <laughs> for sure. <laughs> you look at these questions and they're nuts. Hard. The questions yeah. are nuts. I guess I'm gonna have to go to the prostitute <laughs> for the holidays. I'm gonna have to go for the prostitute because you gotta save your loved one now. 
because that could be a prostitute's first time. <laughs> <laughs> that could be a prostitute's first time. She's a virgin. I, I know really, that's right. Did, did Great Drake explanation. Say something like that? Drake said, I, I know strippers in my life, but they're virgins to me. I know that's right. Hey, it's all that about how sense. you per- perceive that. Great explanation, by yeah. the way. Yeah. All right. Chop off your pinky toe with a dull axe Ooh. or be unable to get drunk so you can never get drunk again. Oh, uh, drunk for sure. I don't need to be drunk. You don't even be but drinking. He, keep, okay. he keeping the pinky <laughs> toe. <laughs> yeah, I, I need my pinky toe. Okay. Um, um, okay. Work on receiving end of the glory hole. What is that? Work? Hold on, say that again? <laughs> the glory <laughs> hole is... That sounds like some nasty shit. <laughs> the glory hole is a hole in the bathroom where you stick your, your thing through. It says through. work on the receiving end of a glory hole. So you would be on the opposite end of the glory hole. I'm picking whatever the other one <laughs> is. The, next the, other the other one is flatten a field of puppies with a steamroller. Oh, that's fucked up. Oh, that's really <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, he said, oh, that's, that's fucked really up. That's really fucked up. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna definitely. I'm sorry. I'm gonna just have to. I'm gonna have to. That's fuck so them mean. Puppies. Yeah, you don't know what she's getting said, on the fuck other them end. Puppies. Fuck you don't them know. Puppies. <laughs> yeah. Shit. You don't know what, what's on the other end of that glory. No. Hole. Hilarious. But if you're receiving, it's Lord. Okay. <laughs> All right. We got two more questions on each of us, and then it's your turn for us. Have genitals that whistle like a teapot <laughs> when you're aroused. <laughs> So when you're aroused, your genitals <laughs> whistle like a teapot. Or <laughs> I am crying. Or, or oh lose, my gosh. lose your sex organs. Oh, oh shit, they gonna have to whistle. Right? <laughs> Cause I ain't telling you shit. You know when I'm ready, fuck it. <laughs> Just whistle. You know what that means, baby. I ain't, I ain't gonna, ro- I ain't gonna that roll. that whistle over. while you work. <laughs> Y'all know the song. Oh, Y'all know the song. That is funny. <laughs> You know the song. Oh, that's funny. That is hilarious. That's a funny question. All right. My last one for you is drink a bag of blood from a blood bank or vomit every time you orgasm. Ooh. I'm going to be a virgin then for sure. I'm going to have to vomit every time because I'm not drinking no blood. That's, yeah, and that's, you don't know what type some, of blood. That can be some AIDS blood. Yeah, hepatitis. It's a blood bank, so it gotta be good blood. Nah, shit. <laughs> I don't even think that's that's an okay thing to drink somebody else's blood. Yeah, like what are we doing? <laughs> All righty, last question for me is: Have someone snip your Achilles tendon with a garden scissor, Ooh. or scream racial obscenities every time you eat something that tastes good? <laughs> Hold on, what was the first question? Hey, <laughs> Have someone snip your Achilles tendon with garden scissors? That's gonna hurt. Or you gonna scream racial obscenities, obscenities every time you eat something tasty? So you gonna be a racist every time you're eating some good food? <laughs> or you ain't gonna have no Achilles? With garden scissors. With garden scissors. God damn. That's a tough one. That's my life. That is a tough one. I still wanna hoop. <laughs> <laughs> you can't walk the same way or nothing, boy. And I'm definitely not a racist, so you know, I guess I'm gonna just have to get some surgery. Yeah. I'm not to get some surgery. I can't be racist. <laughs> I love people. All right, it's your turn to get y'all uh so you can pick on you can us. pick whatever ones you want to ask whoever person. Yeah. Okay, best. Yeah. So you think something's better on her end? Ask yeah. her. You think something better on my end? Ask me. I always get the tougher questions. Yeah, lately I've been getting easy questions, so I'm cool with that. Yeah, talk to us nice, man. Talk to us nicely. And you can put pair them with whatever ones you want to pair it with. Okay, bet. <laughs> it's me. Let's see. Eat all the hair from a stranger's shower drain trap. Yeah. Ooh. Eat it. Or eat a human heart. Ooh. Fuck. Hair That's or heart. Hard. And he's a vegan, so Ooh. he don't eat already. I don't eat meat, so yeah, I would have to go with the hair, but I don't even want to touch shower That's hair. Nasty. Ugh. Well, just think of it as um, I think you it know, would be less cream taste. or spinach or something. I think it'd be less taste. Yeah, I'm something. going with the shower hair because it probably tastes a little like soap. Heart, <laughs> human heart? Nah, bro. I don't even eat regular meat, so <laughs> I'm cool. Let's see. 
Okay, let me see. Let me see what you got. Ooh. I know he got some tough ones. <laughs> he yeah. mixing and matching. That's how you know you got some good ones. Yeah, let me see. Have a naked picture published of you on the New York Times. Oof, That's not the very... Times. Or be forced to say yes whenever someone asks you something. So you got to say yes for everything. Oh, yes, see, man. I'm yeah, yes, definitely man. opinionated. I, I express myself very mm. much so. I don't care who it is. It could be, I don't know, <laughs> Michelle <laughs> Obama. And I love Michelle. You're going to hear me speak. I'm very opinionated. Mm -hmm. So... I'm gonna have to go with the New York Times published a ass out and all. But the thing <laughs> that's is, gonna be a bag. That's, that's a I'm bag. telling you, yeah. it's, it's gonna, gonna be a bag. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be excited. I'm like, what's to come after the New York Times? <laughs> what's to come after Sorry, the New babe. York Times? <laughs> all right, Z. Might get in trouble at home, but. <laughs> no, yeah, no, for sure. Oh, <laughs> he gonna be like, what the hell? <laughs> New York Times? No, nah, so, that's not a good look, but. That's It'll be not a good look, but I might be like Kim Kardashian. Who knows? Right. Become a billionaire after that. No, for sure. <laughs> okay. Have everybody in the room discover your deepest, darkest secret. Oof. Or have sex with a sheep. Oof. I'm trying to think of my deepest, darkest secret right now. Or sex with a sheep? Yeah. But. Y'all can find out more about me, man. I ain't fucking animals, right? Y'all gonna have to find out more about me and just learn who I am and accept me for my flaws and my deepest, darkest secrets because I'm not fucking an animal. And your secret might not be dark to the point where it's like, they might just be like, oh, that's, that's it? it? Yeah. Or they might be like, oh, I feel bad for you. Yeah, and hopefully you know we get one of those. Yeah, some people gonna connect no one's, with you like, damn, that's mine too. No one's feeling bad for right. someone who fucks a sheep or like, oh, that's all you yeah, fucked? Yeah, that's pretty nasty. Like, that's it? <laughs> like, they're not saying, oh, that's no, all no, you fucked. Like, that's, no. that's extremes. Yeah, you might as well do porn at the OnlyFans. That's nasty. Something. That's worse than OnlyFans, yeah. bro. You going to jail, boy. You going to jail today. Okay, what there. else you got for us? <laughs> that's it. Oh, oh ask yeah. us two more. Oh, Pick yeah. two more. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We two more. more. You got two more. Yeah, two more for her. Two more for me? Yeah, because he did me too. I oh, okay, okay, okay. So two more cards. Yeah, two pause. more cards okay. for her. Yeah, pause. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, it sounds bad. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Tongue of sumo wrestler's asshole. <gasps> oh, my God. Tongue of sumo wrestler's asshole. <laughs> This the one right here. And you know, you can't even open the asshole that much. I mean, it's a huge ass to begin with. Okay. I'm guessing you're an ass eater. <laughs> or, Wait, I mean, I'm not, I didn't say all that now. That, hey, let's you're see. saying in the options. Yeah, in the options. Okay. Or play and spin the bottle with everyone in your immediate family. <gasps> oh, oh, my Lord. gosh. Okay. Immediate family. <laughs> That's me. I'm oh, in that my game. gosh. <laughs> That's so bad. I, I have no choice. I mean, like, at this point, like, I'm, yeah. I mean, I hope the sumo, like, bathes prior to. And I mean, just, here's my thing with the sumo wrestler, okay? They got some big ass. I've seen some big asses, but they got some huge asses. Like, it's not no, like, little, like, baby ass, you know? And then you got to, like, open up the ass to get to the hole. In between. Because it's not no like. Yeah. It ain't just boho right there. Yeah, you it's not just like, it. oh yeah. And you can't just find it with like a little simple bend nah. down. Like, oh no. You, you gotta to like dig. Spread and search. Get in there. I hope he's strong. <laughs> <laughs> to hold I mean, them cheeks back. I mean, that's what it's gonna have to be. Because I ain't, nah, not no family members. Like, I'm around my yeah. family way too much and I love my family way too much, but not like that. No, baby. So I'm good on that. No but, incest over here. But. <laughs> I'm glad we had fun playing that game because that, <laughs> that was, was a good one. That was one of the that best was, games. Yeah. Yeah. That was good. That was good to get to know us and you a little bit more outside mm -hmm. of who you are as a person. <laughs> and you a puppy killer. Man. Oh, yeah. He was like, oh, that's fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I felt up. I felt the hurt when he was like the puppies. I love puppies. I love dogs. What's your favorite dog? Oh, probably um Big Dog, Little Dog. Big dogs, probably, probably like a lab. 
a lab. Okay, uh, I got French. Really smart. I got French bulldogs. I got puppies. I'm trying to get rid of. So I used to train dogs. Actually. Really? I've done a lot of shit. That's a lot, man. You're all over the place. I know how to play the drums, too. What? Oh, we didn't even talk about... Okay, before we get off, we didn't talk about singing. (laughs) Oh, yeah. He's singing, too, now. I can sing a little country music. Country Country music? Everybody, Why everybody look... Everybody does this when I... Country? I was not... Who's your favorite country singer? Uh, who? That's... I like Chris Young. I like Luke Combs. I like... Uh, you're from you're from Illinois, so well. You, I'm from St. Louis, Louis, but I lived in in Texas for a lot of months. St. Louis, Texas, I, I can yeah, see St. Okay. Louis in Texas. Yeah, yeah in country with it. I you got some cowboy it. boots. I, I do got some cowboy. I can see. Okay, cowboy, so now yeah. he said you listen it's to country. Together. I'm like, all right, yeah, cowboy yeah, boots are country, not. I got a little country voice and everything. All right, give I'm, us a little something, something, because you just know, now no, you glad. said now you said you you a country singer with some country lights down low. Baby, lock. Doors and turn the lights okay. Okay, <laughs> okay, now I we see it. We ain't got it. nowhere to go. Listen. Baby, we don't got no place to go. Hey, no, it's okay. Like Look, he got that. <laughs> he got that baritone coming out, y'all. Just a little who's bit. Who's to say? Who's to say That's that like, he's not gonna be a singer in in a, in a few months? Yeah. Man, I might pop out with a little song. Listen, I was in the studio the other day with my cousin, just just in there messing around and almost made a. Man, like, I can see it coming. Might be, too. Might, might be a little album, a little single. Something, I know that's something, right. Something like that. They got it all now. That's Do what makes you happy at the end of the day, because you're a good guy. I can see yeah. it. Yeah, hundred and ten percent. And anything else you want to say? Where they could find you on the gram? Uh, on yeah, YouTube with, with your new hit. <laughs> all right, yeah. Follow me on Instagram, the official Jay Wilson. Um, I got my links in the bio, so follow all of that, all my socials. And make sure you guys watch the ultimatum out now yep. on Netflix mm-hmm. and tune into all things Zay Williams and that is it. I'm sorry, Zay Wilson and that is it for Jelly Yes, Lord. <laughs>